Welcome to our webinar, Asana Intelligence, Human-Centered AI for Smarter Work. We are here today to discover how human-centered AI, such as Asana Intelligence, can revolutionize your productivity. Together, we'll say goodbye to chaos and hello to smarter work. So let's get started. Now I would like to introduce you to our speakers. Today, we will hear from Max, Asana Sales Team Lead at CloudFresh, and Burak, Solutions Engineer at Max, Burak, thank you all for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Before we jump into the webinar, I would like to take a moment to introduce you to CloudFresh. CloudFresh is a global partner of Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta. We are trusted by more than 1,400 customers in 50 countries. We are proud to have worked with top-tier companies in various industries. As you can see, over the years, companies such as Deloitte, PwC, Vodafone, Forbes, and many others have chosen CloudFresh for their cloud solutions. We are very grateful that you have taken the time to join us today. And that's why we would like to present you with a special offer. And today, we have not just one, but two special offers. So if you are just exploring Asana and hopefully after this webinar decide to try it out, we're excited to provide you with a special 20% discount and complimentary onboarding to ensure a smooth transition to Asana. And if you're interested, please scan this QR code and we'll be in touch after the webinar. And if you're already using Asana, we are offering three hours of free consultations from our Asana experts to maximize your setup and enhance your productivity. If you're interested, please scan this QR code and fill out a short form. And for your convenience, I will also share the links to both offers here in the chat. And last thing from my end, we are offering these amazing gifts to the most active participant today. So don't hesitate, ask any questions you may have to our speakers, and you might be lucky enough to win these gifts. And the winner will be chosen by our speakers at the end of this session. And this will be all from my side. I'm excited to welcome our first speaker, Max. The stage is all yours. Yeah, hi, everyone. I'm Max Nahutin, Asana Sales Team Lead at CloudFresh, and today I'll take the introductory word about Asana. But firstly, uh, I would like to ask you and let me know in chat, please, if you are already using Asana or just exploring. Send the plus, please, if you are using already and minus if not. Yes, thank you all. So, uh, Let's start from the brief describing common pain points uh, we meet in our work. Nearly three days a week today are spent on busy work. We know this from Asana's anatomy of work research across thousands of knowledge workers around the world. Time is wasted on things like searching through email for the latest information. Also, it could be attending unproductive meetings uh, or trying to keep the project uh, spreadsheet up to date on the latest information on your team's progress. So why is work so dysfunctional today? It's because valuable information like your goals, teams, and tools are disconnected. It's like playing in a band where everyone is reading from a different song sheet. No one can focus on driving your mission forward in this chaos as there is no full picture for the teams. So they end up doubling on up to work or missing out on opportunities to really drive company goals forward. Luckily, there is a new opportunity uh, to break the silos and connect everyone at your company to your mission and objectives. Teams realize that they can't achieve this company-wide productivity with personal productivity tools. Docs, data, and comms help us uh, organize content, analyze data, and communicate, but only on a small scale. Specialized project management tools miss the mark. They might work for project managers, marketing squads, or sales groups but they are silent and can bring different departments together to effectively execute work. These solutions have obviously not done enough. And that's why many companies have decided to think bigger and address productivity at company level with collaborative work management. And they are seeing great results, like Genesis marketing department that increased on time delivery of projects by 30 persons, or Sony Music that decreased production time for campaigns by 75 persons.
Now let's delve into why Asana is the ideal solution for transforming the way your team collaborates and work, works together. Asana enables seamless collaboration across teams by streamlining all your projects with intuitive UI UX and different views. It provides a clear overview of potential bottlenecks, pain points, and overdue work. Now then, automation is key to collaboration. Asana Workflow Builder and Form systematize workflows, reducing manual tasks, custom rules, and over 300 integrations ensure cohesive and, and efficient teamwork. Real-time insights keep everyone on the same page. Asana allows you to monitor projects effortlessly, create personalized visualization with custom fields and chart, and use a robust charts template library for quick and effective reporting. Goal alignment is streamlined with Asana. You can track all your team's projects in one place with portfolios and monitor key project statuses, ensuring everyone is working towards the same objectives. Finally, Asana Intelligence boosts productivity by optimizing processes, enhances collaboration, and will make teamwork even more seamless and effective. Asana's unique work graph data model includes Asana intelligence, automations, integrations, reporting, resource management, and workflows. Also, uh, this model called uh, as a pyramid of clarity. Asana is the only work management platform that can connect the goals you set at the top of your organization to the strategic portfolios you have put in place to achieve them. All the way to the cross-functional projects and individual tasks that will support those strategies. And now, all the levels of management can be supercharged with Asana Intelligence. Asana has been talking about the power of AI to accelerate your work, and that's why Asana Intelligence comes in. It's a human-centered approach to AI that helps organizations in three key areas. The first area is drive clarity and accountability. Asana are building AI to augment, support, and empower people to make better decisions faster, so individuals, departments, and orgs have completely clarity on the best goals and the best path towards their goals. Second area is maximizing impact. Asana will connect teams and tools and foster the right workflows, plus partnership between humans and AI automating processes to increase efficiency and reduce manual work. And the third area is scale with confidence. Asana is building solutions that lead AI and humans I like to unpack their assumptions, to straighten our collective thought processes and foster trust with transparency into our partnership, security, data protection, and management practices, while providing choice and control over the role of AI in work. And with Asana Intelligence, you can get AI that constantly improving and optimizing over time to support your involving needs. Sorry, it was a lot of clicks. So uh, for clarity and accountability, uh, there are AI features like smart status, smart goals, smart answers, smart charts. Provide, yeah, and it provides transparency and alignment, helping everyone stay on track and make in informed decisions. In second area for maximizing impact, you already can use smart summaries, smart rules, and smart editor. These tools reduce manual work and enhance productivity, allowing your team to focus on what matters most. And the third area for scaling with confidence, you can support your growth with smart fields, smart projects, and smart onboarding. These features ensure efficient scaling, robust data management, and seamless onboarding for the new team members. You will be able to see this and other Asana's features very soon at Burak Demo Park. Asana's human-centered approach to AI is grounded in a core set of principles inspired by Asana values. A recent state of AI report from Asana's work lab innovation found that more than nine in 10 people have concerns about using AI ethically. That's why companies need to seriously look at an ethical approach to AI that empowers teams to work together more effectively and efficiently. 
And the AI features we are discussing today are grounded in this core belief. Asana built the AI to help world's teams achieve their goals. The AI in service of augmenting, supporting, celebrating people contributions. That means human set destination, AI helps to get there. We designed for human plus AI teams. That means fostering right workflows and partnership between people and AI. People are accountable for their decisions. AI should empower people to make better decisions as accountability rests with people. AI suggests, human confirm. Asana's commitment to safety, short and long terms. You can balance speed with caution, prioritizing safety, security, and data privacy with AI providers and while developing solutions. Asana promotes transparency in both practice and product. It means Asana is open and clear about partnerships when AI is used, along with data protection practices, ensuring customers have enterprise-grade security scalability and controls to manage regional regulations. We welcome you to unlock a smarter way to work with CloudFresh, Asana Solutions Partner. With CloudFresh, over 100 companies have become champions of work management by collaborating with our dedicated team. Our solutions have empowered more than 10,000 professionals to optimize their workflows and achieve greater efficiency. Our reach spans across 21 countries, ensuring that our Asana customers receive top-notch support and solutions, no matter where they are located. Join the growth community for successful businesses and professionals who are transforming their work management with CloudFresh and Asana. That's all from my side with presentation. And now I'm passing the stage to Burak for the demo part. OK, thank you so much, Max. Uh, so let's get into the live action. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, as mentioned in the beginning, my name is Burak. I'm a solutions engineer at Asana. So today I'm going to walk you through a demonstration uh, of Asana and also highlighting some of our uh, our incredible artificial intelligence functionalities and uh, how it actually helps us uh, to get our job done and work more efficiently. And uh, we have recently launched uh, as a company some new uh, AI uh, improvements uh, to our product. Uh, so we are going to also mention about those uh, at the end of the demo. So before, uh, with, without further ado, uh, let's get started. So uh, I know some of you have been using Asana already uh, and some of you have not. So in order to get everyone on the same page, we'll start our journey from the beginning. So this is my Asana homepage and this is uh, what I see when I uh, come into app.asana.com. So this is the main page of my application. Uh, in in this uh, customizable uh, home page where I can add more widgets or edit the colors, etc., I can uh, get a quick glance of my tasks that are upcoming, if there are any overdue. Luckily for me, there are none. Uh, and then uh, all the tasks that are assigned to me. And also I see the tasks that I have assigned to other people. Uh, so I can keep track of uh, the work that I need to get uh, done by other people. And also my goals and projects, my favorite and recent uh, projects are uh, available here. Uh, for me and uh, a few uh, other components as well. At the top, I have a search bar, which is pretty handy, and it is bringing me the recent uh, objects uh, that I worked on. And at any given time, I can also run uh, an advanced search uh, to 
find specific work items that I need to uh, that I need to get access quickly, right? And at the left hand side, I have my sub navigation sidebar, which allows me to access different uh, parts of the application, such as my tasks page, inbox, and uh, reporting, and uh, other projects as well, which we are going to see all uh, throughout the demo. Right. So uh, this is my uh, profile. So currently uh, I am working at this fic uh, fictional company called Phoenix and uh, as, uh, as a project uh, manager. And uh, there are certain projects that I need to uh, get back on track and uh, finish right on time. So uh, in this scenario, uh, I will uh, start my day uh, by taking a look uh, at um, at an upcoming task uh, for myself. So uh, here in this uh, small card, I see uh, there is one task that is waiting for me to complete uh, by tomorrow, right? So this uh, quick view uh, gives me this uh, understanding. So uh, since I just started working on these projects, let me try to get uh, a better uh, understanding of uh, this task and what this is about. So when I click, the task detail uh, pane opens up. So let's uh, explore uh, what a task looks looks like quickly. So uh, in here, I see the task title on top uh, and the assignee is myself uh, and a task comes with a due date and the project that this task is living in. And then I see uh, other uh, custom fields that are related to this task, which we'll discover a little bit more. And then a quick description of the task, what this is about. Right, and then uh, some subtasks. Uh, if we need to uh, break this task into smaller pieces, we can uh, do so. And then uh, also we can assign these subtasks to other people and give them specific due dates as well. And then uh, we have our attachments uh, for our task. Uh, so here I have an image attached uh, to this uh, task. And then I can also add documents from my computer or some other cloud storage uh, applications as well. And at the end, uh, I have my uh, collaboration area where I can uh, communicate with my teammates through uh, comments, right? So. Uh, here, uh, there is one comment where I reached out to Tony uh, about the uh, complications regarding uh, this task. So when he uh, gives me a response, uh, he'll just put it in here and I will receive that in my Asana inbox, right? So uh, that was a quick view of what a task looks like. And this was... Uh, as, as this is a small card of uh, the tasks that are assigned to me and that are uh, upcoming, but uh, there is a uh, there's a better and more detailed way to uh, to organize more of my work in Asana as well. So I'll just go to my tasks page here. So this page, which I can also access uh, from here on the sidebar as well, uh, this page pulls together all the tasks that are assigned to me uh, at, uh, across Asana, across all the projects uh, that I'm working on, right? So I don't need to jump between boards or jump between projects to see, okay, what is assigned to me? Like I can uh, come here and start organizing my work immediately. I have an automation that is running. Uh, so uh, this, uh, along with these sections, right? So I, uh, for my personal preference, uh, these uh, section names are fully customizable. Uh, for my personal preference, I have set it up in a way to categorize my tasks, right? So uh, the, the things that I need to get get to do today, or the things that are recently assigned, they all come into this section. And then I start categorizing my tasks uh, like meetings, so tasks related to meetings, and things I need to follow up on, right? And then uh, creative tasks uh, that are coming from the uh, creative function uh, and all the approvals that I need to complete, right? So I'm... Uh, categorizing them in this way and then when their due date is approaching asana automatically moves these tasks uh, to this section for me so i get uh, a clear view of what i need to work on today right 
So uh, this is uh, pretty powerful. And uh, when I come in, actually, uh, this was the task we have seen uh, earlier, right? Uh, I can open it up and uh, access the same uh, task view uh, on uh, this page here as well. So this all uh, looks good. I'm just going to give it a like to this task. And uh, since uh, we worked on this, Right, uh, so discount metrics clarification. What I can do, uh, I can add uh, the document I worked on from OneDrive, for example. All uh, right, so I guess you're not seeing this page, but I'm just going to do that. Cool, I've attached the file, I can I can write a quick comment. Uh, let me just refresh it. I think the OneDrive application just crashed. Yeah. So uh, here, yeah, I was just attaching uh, a document. So let me do that here. Yeah, I'm just uploading it. PDF. and metrics attached and all good so i complete this work uh, and i just uh, come on to top and just mark this one complete and this is now out of the way right so uh this was uh one of the uh tasks that i'm working on uh but that was an individual task so uh how does it looks uh, how does it look like when it comes to uh managing projects so uh, in here, you know, on my, my tasks page, uh, what I see here is the task names and the due dates and the projects that these tasks are living under. And uh, let I can also access my favorite projects on the sidebar here. I have a section called starred. So uh, this is uh, the project uh, that I have starred, which means I click the star icon here, right, uh, to Add, add it to my favorites or something like that, right? So and then it uh, lands on my start section uh, for me to be able to easily access. So uh, let's uh, take a look at this project. So uh, this project uh, that I am assigned uh, to work on as a project manager is called Global System Transformation. Right. So uh, we are, uh, as a company, uh, trying to upgrade uh, some of our internal systems. And uh, these are the tasks related uh, to, uh, to bring this project uh, to completion with success. And then uh, what I'm seeing here is uh, different sections uh, for, uh, for certain action items in my project. So on top, I have my key milestones, right? I can recognize milestones from the square-like shape uh, they have, right? So uh, milestones are like important points, important uh, checkpoints you achieve uh, here throughout a project, right? I have my key milestones section, then I have my product updates section, then I have my software render section, and then I have regional rollout tasks uh, where in order for me to uh, run this system transformation in different regions uh, we have in our company right so I have broken down uh, these action items in uh, in different categories and then uh, when I go to the right in my list view, what I'm seeing is uh, an, the assignee for each of these tasks so uh, this milestone has an assignee these tasks have an assignee right uh, and then uh, you may notice there are some different uh, icons uh, for the tasks right so the round shape with uh, with a check uh, check symbol is a regular task uh, this is also a regular task but this icon uh, indicates that this uh, task is waiting like depending on another task to be completed and we'll see more about dependencies as well Right. Uh, so the assignees, uh, we are seeing uh, the due date for each task is listed here. And then uh, to the right, we have the custom fields, right? So let me close this uh, section for us to see all the tasks with custom fields clearly. 
right? Uh, and then uh, I have uh, these custom fields uh, based on uh, its name, right? They are customizable, so they are representing the important information uh, for me uh, in every project. So uh, this status uh, field, for example, is uh, helping me to set the status for each task, right? Uh, what is the status, like at risk, on drag, done, in progress, etc. And then I have a team field, which uh, helps me to indicate which team is responsible for uh, for all, for this specific task. And then I have other fields, uh, such as estimated time, for example, as a project manager, how much time I have allocated for this task to be completed. And then here I have my time tracking field. So uh, native Asana time tracking allows uh, users to track their time when while working on tasks. So far, uh, who, the person who has worked on this, on this task so far has logged one hour and 15 minutes, right? And uh, similarly in here, the allocated time was uh, three and a half hours. And then so far we have logged uh, two hours. We have spent two hours on this task. And then uh, together with that, I have another field. That, now this is a number type of field, which helps me track the costs of each task right so uh, there are different type of fields uh, you can add to your project so far we have seen the multiple choice uh, type of uh, field and then time type of field and then number type of field but you what you you can also add is like multi select you can add a date type of field you can add people type of field for example if you'd like to add uh, another field called uh, sponsors or reporters or something like that. You can add people type of field and tag people uh, on the task. Uh, you can get a you know plain text uh, field and also you can have a formula field as well. For example, if you would like to run uh, calculations uh, based on uh, based on um, you know certain uh, fields. For example, you can have like. Uh, actual time plus hourly rate could be equal uh, to your uh, your uh, actual cost as well, right? So we can do uh, this type of uh, formula fields and uh, we can have task ID fields as well. So uh, unique IDs uh, would be generated for each task in this project uh, if you would like to add it, right? Cool. Uh, so this is a, a quick layout uh, of uh, how my project uh, looks like. So what I want to uh, do here uh, is, since I am newly assigned to this project, I'd like to get a better understanding of uh, what this project is about and where does it stand uh, at the moment. So coming here in the overview section, uh, I get a quick overview of uh, what this project is about. So this is the description of the project uh, together with the role. So who is doing what uh, in this project and uh, other uh, related information about this project is available here as well. And on the right hand side, I see the latest uh, status update uh, for this project, which I can notice uh, currently uh, this project is at risk that is also visible in here as well. So that is not a really good sign. Uh, let me uh, go back to my project and uh, see how we can how we can uh, get this project back on track. Uh, there are a few things uh, I'd like to do. So uh, one, I'd like to uh, get the help of AI, right? So there is the Ask AI button here on the top right of the project, where we can ask uh, certain questions to Asana Intelligence to help us uh, with uh, this project. So we can ask uh, like more specific questions, such as which tasks have the highest uh, cost, right? So uh, when I ask this question, uh, Asana Intelligence comes back uh, to me. Uh, the tasks with the highest cost and their uh, and compared with their estimated costs right so in here uh, i can see that this uh, specific task on the, on number one monitor and measure results uh has assigned with 32 uh has uh, has logged 32 thousand dollars uh cost so far we have estimated it would take four hours to complete but actually it took longer uh, it took longer, we have logged more time 
uh, than uh, our estimation. So this is one risky situation about this task and also uh, about others as well. So what I can do here, uh, I, I'd like to open up this task and see the details. So in this task, I can see uh, I, we have estimated four hours, what we have already logged five hours. Uh, so we will need some additional allocation for this task. What I want to do, I want to create uh, an approval uh, for the finance manager, right? So our finance uh, owner is Diana. And uh, please allocate more time for this task, right? And, uh, and I'm giving her a due date to review this and uh, approves uh, and mar mark it as an approval, right? So you can see the icon has changed to an approval. So when I do that, Diana receives this approval and uh, comes here. Uh, and she reviews and uh, she decides if we can uh, allocate additional time uh, for this task. Uh, when she's okay with that, now when she comes to the approval, uh, she has a few uh, choices. She can reject this request or she can approve it or she can ask for changes. Uh, for the sake of our example, let's say Diana uh, approves uh, this change request. And then uh, what I'm going to do as a project manager, I'm going to change the estimated time from five hour, uh, from four hours to uh, seven hours instead. So which is going to give the assignee two more hours uh, to uh, complete this project on time. So we eliminated uh, this uh, specific risk. And what I want to do further is uh, reviewing my tasks. So uh, in, in this project, in order uh, for uh, clarity and success in my projects, uh, there are few crucial things I need to have in place. And uh, one of the most important, two of the most important of them are the assignees and due dates. So uh, we can see that currently for this specific task, optimizing transportation and logistics, I don't have any assignee and, and, and a due date uh, for this task. Uh, so it is currently in uh, planning stage, but without an assignee, like maybe this person went on uh, holidays or maybe maybe they left the company, right? Without an assignee, it's really difficult to move this work forward. Uh, so what I want to do first, I'd like to start with uh, scheduling this task in the right place. So I can see uh, it is already depending on, uh, has, has dependencies with other tasks, right? Uh, so I want to make sure I put it in the right place in my schedule. So I'm going to jump into my Gantt chart in order to be able to do that. So my Gantt chart uh, allows me to see how my project is laid out uh, in terms of uh, tasks uh, within sections and in terms of uh, dependencies. So uh, I can see this uh, task is not currently scheduled. So let me uh, open this up and see what this, uh, what kind of dependencies it has. So this task is currently blocked by optimizing. Uh, uh, sorry, I was actually looking to schedule this one. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, so it is currently blocked by research different inventory management, and then it is uh, blocking the implementing performance metrics. So it should come uh, after uh, 14th of July. So that's really good. So I can maybe go ahead and uh, schedule this in here uh, and give it a few more days uh, to be completed. And as you can see, the dependencies have been applied automatically in my visual. And then uh, it looks like uh, we are in a good place. We are not uh, crashing any dependencies. But let's say if we need to move things forward a little bit, right? Let's say uh, this task needs to be pushed forward a little bit. Asana is going to manage it for me automatically in order to avoid uh, the dependency conflicts here. So good, I made a few changes in my project. I'd like to see if it has any impact uh, on it has any negative impact on the completion of my project on time. So let's take a look uh, at my critical path. Uh, so if uh, I can still finish my project on time. Cool. So my, pr my critical path is highlighted for me here. Uh, and I see uh, we finished the project in here, which is before uh, the project uh, completion date. So we look in a really good shape that uh, we have scheduled our tasks uh, quite well. Cool, uh, that's all good. So let's go back uh, to the list view. 
there is uh, one more thing uh, I need to do, which is uh, assigning uh, this task to the right person, right? So I'd like to be conscious about uh, who, how much work uh, the team in this project has, uh, and I'd like to assign it to the right the right person accordingly, right? So uh, I am now going to jump into my dashboard. So in my dashboard, project dashboard, it gives me a quick uh, review of uh, of the important data in my project, right? So one of the things I'm seeing here is the upcoming tasks by assignee. So how many tasks each person has assigned. So when I uh, come over, also I can see uh, their profile together with their role, so I can know which type of task uh, they can take. So in here, I have uh, Michelle, a uh, campaign manager with the least amount of tasks assigned. So maybe I can go ahead and assign this task uh, to Michelle since uh, she does not have a lot on her table uh, at the moment. Cool, we eliminated one more risk. And there is uh, now another task in my software vendor section uh, that is uh, that also has no assignee and a due date and has no assigned team as well. And this was on purpose. I'd like to show you how we can run multiple uh, multiple uh, streams, work streams uh, inside uh, my projects. So this uh, specific task, SSO setup workflow, is uh, related to my uh, IT team, right? So I need my IT team to work on this specific task. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to choose a, a, choose the team as IT. And uh, I am going to leverage the power of Asana automation uh, in order to run this uh, IT work stream in parallel with my project. So when I choose IT, uh, now Asana automation is running and you will see these fields to be filled up automatically. Yeah, you can see uh, Neha, who is the IT manager, get, gets automatically assigned to this task with a, uh, with a predefined uh, due date uh, from today. So when I do this, and open up my task, I can see that right now in the project section, this task is living under two projects. One is uh, global system transformation, which is we are looking at right now, and the other one is the IT requests. So right now, this specific task is linked to two projects, right? Let's take a look what IT requests project looks like. So it is, uh, as you can see, uh, an inbox project in a board view uh, for IT team uh, to receive requests and uh, plan on uh, solutions and uh, deliver those solutions as well. This is the project, uh, this is the task uh, request I have made and uh, where, I, where the IT team uh, can go ahead and move to uh, approval in their own work stream without affecting uh, the uh, the uh, my overall project right so they can continue working on it and then once they're okay uh, once they complete it they can just go ahead complete it and I can see that in my project as well so really good so we have eliminated a lot of uh, a lot of uh, risks uh, in this project right so i'm just going to uh, go back uh, to my ai and uh, see what kind of uh, other other tasks uh, so sorry what kind of other questions i can ask so i'm going to ask ai uh, in order to get the latest uh, about the project analyze the tasks and key uh, key milestones so what uh, what type of at risk tasks in key milestones we have and how we can uh, fix this. And uh, Asana AI, again, comes back uh, with a, a really good uh, answer uh, to make me aware of certain, uh, certain milestones uh, at risk here. So this has been a huge help. So uh, AI uh, helped me with identifying certain risks in my project and helped me uh, to uh, take action on them. And uh, since uh, now we have eliminated those risks, let's update our project uh, progress. So I'm coming back to my overview section and then uh, in my updating uh, status, uh, I I'd like to update the status of the project and then I'm going to draft a quick update with AI. 
again uh, with the help of Asana intelligence uh, based on my uh, uh, my uh, guidance I, I provide a guidance I asked AI to please cover achievements next steps and blocker, blockers in a professional tone and AI comes back uh, with a summary uh, about the latest happenings in my project so what are the uh, initiatives this work supports what are the current blockers we have what are the uh, milestones important milestones and what are the next steps uh, which summarizes who is going to complete which task by when so it's all good uh, and we click edit draft uh, we always need to uh, make the final edit we never release what ai whatever ai tells us right ai is only a, a helping us so i'm going to jump in uh, to the highlights section to enrich my uh, status update a little bit so into the summary i'd like to uh, put like the tasks completed and then uh, for uh, the next steps i'd like to put uh, incomplete tasks by assigning so we can drag and drop these cards uh, in order to add uh, interesting visuals uh, to our uh, status updates as well and as soon as i do that uh, 10 people will be notified and with the help of ai uh, providing this status update and getting my project on track only uh, took me a few minutes right cool uh, so we have worked on one uh, of the project and we, we we made a lot of changes but we every day we work on lots of projects right uh, and not all the time we are managing the projects but sometimes we are contributing on projects so how do we uh, how do we get up to date about all of these uh, changes happening so this is where asana inbox uh, comes in so in my inbox i get important uh, updates about the about the work that I am uh, contributing on. So if I am working on a task with someone uh, and there is an update, like a due date change or a custom field change, I get an update about it. If I'm contributing uh, a project, if I'm working on a project with someone else and they release a status update, just like I did, I also receive that in my Asana inbox as well. So uh, in here, for example, in my inbox, I see there is a new comment added and I was at mentioned in this comment. And uh, I would like to understand what this is about, right? So let's take a look. There's a long description, uh, a few soft tasks, attachments added, and more than 10 comments uh, in, this, in this task. So it looks like a lot of conversation uh, has been uh, going on. Uh, I'd like to get up to speed uh, with what is happening in this task. So what I'm going to do, instead of reading all of this, I'm going to ask, again, Assign Intelligence to summarize the task for me. So it may take a few seconds to a minute sometime. Yeah, it was quick. Uh, so here is a, a summary of what has been done so far. So the task involves this, uh, what is expected uh, to do is, uh, the outcomes are these, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all good. I give a thumbs up uh, to AI and close this. And then uh, since my opinion was uh, asked and then I attached uh, my work uh, through a document, uh, what I am going to do, I'm going to write a comment uh, quickly and then I'm going to ask again AI to uh, write it in a better way uh, for me maybe uh, fix the uh, punctuations and then uh, put it in a more professional tone and then replace and add my comment cool so with this we got uh, this work uh, going on as well so I'm going to go ahead and archive this again with the help of AI it took me only a few minutes to get up to speed uh, on this task so uh, from here, I'm going to jump into another project uh, that I was assigned to work on, and it is the fall events tour. And I'm going to do a quick time check. Uh, so maybe we have uh, five minutes. Anastasia, how, how much time we have left for the demo? Yes, yeah, around five minutes. OK, awesome. Cool. Uh, so now, uh, again, this is another project that I'm assigned to work on, but this project has recently kicked off uh, and uh, there is not a lot of uh, structure has been put in yet, right? Uh, so, so far, I only have tasks, 
some details in tasks, right? Uh, what are the common themes? Uh, what is the region? What is the priority of the task, etc.? cetera? Uh, but they are not reflected in my project. As you can see, there are no custom fields. So I'd like to uh, put my project in a better structure. Uh, and uh, what AI can help me with here is uh, basically when I come to uh, fields, uh, I can ask AI to uh, suggest uh, some fields for me uh, and then uh, fill them, of course. So here is a suggested field called region and here is uh, another field called priority, uh, budget, milestones, et cetera. So I can uh, choose the ones I like to keep and I can choose the ones that I don't want to, right? Now here I have two options. I can just add the fields and leave the values empty or I can ask AI to fill the values as well based on the context within the task. So when I do that, as you can see, two fields have been automatically added, and now Asana is uh, is uh, basically reading the context in all of these tasks uh, in order to get a sense of what region these tasks are related and what type of priority uh, they have. And yeah, it started uh, filling up. So let's take a look. So Asana says this is uh, APAC and priority is medium, and it is basically coming from uh, the uh, coming from the task description here. So th it is pretty clear in this example, and uh, that's why it ran really quick. Uh, it may not be all we may not always have those kind of clear descriptions, right? Uh, and in that case, if Asana does not find a clear indication uh, of a certain value, it just leaves it blank. So it's uh, is designed not to hallucinate, right? Uh, it, like it is uh, fine-tuned for accuracy more than you know filling it whatever it uh, whatever it does. So uh, just like this uh, with this quick AI suggestion, we have got uh, a better structure for this project. When uh, as soon as I come into my list view, I see well, what this project is about. Cool. So far, we have worked on uh, multiple projects, uh, multiple tasks. And now uh, here comes the question, OK, how am I going to get on top of all of these projects if I'm working on 5, 10, 15, 20 projects at the same time? How, get, how am I going to get the bird's eye view? And this is where the portfolios come in. So when I jump into the portfolios, uh, I see uh, the first one is uh, which is the most important one for me fy25 strategic initiatives so let's come into this portfolio and uh, this portfolio brings me a good view of uh, the strategic initiatives i am running uh, for this financial year and here I, what i'm seeing is a list of projects this time right so each of them are projects actually this one global system transformation was the one we were looking at uh, earlier, right? So when I click, yeah, I come to the project that uh, we we got back on track in the beginning. And then I have other projects just like this, together with their status update, together with their task progress, so how much we are into this project, and the owner due date uh, and other type of custom fields as well, priority, uh, budget, for each project is also clarified in this portfolio. And uh, together with the budget, also I have a, a actual cost roll-up field, which is taking the actual cost data uh, from, uh, from my projects and uh, puts the total into the portfolio here. So as a project manager, I can clearly see how much is my budget for each of the projects and uh, how much uh, I have spent uh, so far which is really good. So majority of my projects are on track, which is really good. And I have another project at risk, for example, seasonal marketing campaign. Uh, and it is currently 34% in, uh, but uh, however, we are almost reaching uh, the budget uh, so far. So we, uh, it, it looks quite difficult to uh, finish this project within the budget. Uh, so far we have spent 300 
thousand only for thirty four percent of the project. Uh, so as a project owner, I can uh, dig into the status update, uh, latest status update, and see uh, what is working and what is not working. And as the new owner of the project, I can just uh, ask the owner right here, Michelle. How can I help to get this back on track? Cool, and we can start the communication from here and then uh, we can do whatever is necessary to get this project back on track. And this gives me the uh, bird's eye view uh, regarding all my projects uh, together uh, with a, a dashboard uh, which puts together important information regarding the projects in this portfolio for me. I see the actual cost. Uh, or total actual cost of projects and how uh, the budget is spread across projects uh, and I see all of those uh, in my uh, in my dashboard here which are uh, which are interactive and clickable so when I click it brings back the data behind uh, for me cool uh, so far we have visited uh, the uh, general uh, task and project structure and how we can leverage AI uh, to uh, help us to run projects and collaborate effectively uh, inside Asana so uh, we're almost at time so I'm just going to uh, finish uh, our tour uh, here and uh, we, we can see if there are any questions Yes, there are quite a few questions um, in the chat. So, um, yeah, Bert, there was a question from Karen. Uh, do I need to train Asana AI to start using it? Uh, no, you don't need to. Uh, you, you can just uh, start using it uh, from day one. Actually, it, like, it, it is going to get more effective as you uh, start using it, but uh, there is no, like, uh, there's no uh, like uh, uh, empty time you need, you need to spend only for training. Got it. Thank you. Um, Karen, I hope that answers your question. Um, then there was another one from Michael. Um, can AI have the capability to assign a task to an SNE based on how busy the team members are? For example, one SNE has three tasks that are nearing due date or at risk, while there's another SNE with task already completed. Yeah, I'm glad you asked. Uh, so actually, as promised, uh, let me just uh, show you a quick uh, presentation that I'd like to uh, touch on. Uh, it's going to be really quick, I promise. So uh, currently, the answer is no. But uh, what we have announced pretty recently is uh, Asana AI teammates. So this is. Uh, based on our roadmap, so it is not live yet, so you, you shouldn't make decisions based on uh, the images in this presentation, but this is our intention to build this. So we are moving away from, uh, from just AI assistants to AI teammates, which can help us uh, to identify these kind of bottlenecks as well. So uh, I'm just going to skip these right now uh, to show you uh, what AI teammates can do. They can, uh, they are going to be able to advise action and adapt uh, your work. So things like uh, insights and recommendations, uh, things like uh, improving your workflows by uh, and. Uh, spotting bottlenecks and inefficiencies and coming back to you with some uh, with some um, recommendations in order to make it more efficient as well. So uh, this is going to be a big improvement of how AI supports our work at Asana. And uh, we have recently launched it and uh, we are planning to bring it live uh, within this year, hopefully. Perfect. Thanks, Burak, for sharing. I hope that answers the question. Um, we have uh, um, we had another one uh, in the chat. Um, add and fill in custom field. How AI will fill them without knowing what we want in them? For example, a priority. How AI will know if it's a high or low priority task? Yeah. So it is uh, looking at certain indications. So AI is reading the task description and the uh, and the uh, comments within the task and who are the collaborators within the task, right? So as it learns more about your organization and about how you get work done, it can uh, make better decisions. For example, if it is uh, somehow mentioned within the comments uh, by someone 
hey, uh, this task is really important for the success of the project and we need to get, the, get it done uh, by the end of next week. It is a strong indication uh, for the AI to say it's a high priority task. But if it does not find any indication, if it's a low or high priority, it just leaves it blank, right? Okay, perfect. Um, we have two more questions in the chat, but uh, I would like to um, wait with them for the Q&A session and uh, um, pass the mic to Max um, for just um, a couple of minutes to add on this. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'll just try to answer on the chat uh, while Max goes through. Over to perfect. you, Max. Thanks, Burak. Yeah, thanks, Burak. So, uh, I would like to mention that uh, we invite you to maximize the power of AI with uh, CloudFresh and take your productivity to new heights. Sun Intelligence offers a range of features designed to enhance your workflow, drive results with proactive optimization, and unlock personalized support. With Sun Intelligence, you can uh, boost productivity by using AI to create and empower workflows, achieve your business goals with confidence through proactive optimization and receive strategic guidance to unlock the full potential of AI-driven solutions. So, why choose CloudFresh as your partner? We offer a comprehensive proof of concept, providing detailed evaluations and hands-on experiences to seamlessly integrate your tools with your IT environment. We deliver industry-wide solutions catering to various sectors and enhancing your business with AI-powered products to drive your company digital transformation. Our comprehensive service portfolio could help your teams unleash the full potential of the products you need and use. With CloudFresh, you can benefit from special discounts and flexible payment options. Let us know in the chat if you are interested in checking out our proposition, and we will contact you as soon as possible. Yeah, that's all from, from me. Thank you all for joining, and now I pass the stage to Anastasia. Perfect. Um, thank you, Max. Thank you, Burak, for, for your insightful um, sessions and for sharing the knowledge. Um, now, yeah, I would like to open the, the Q&A session. Um, there were those two questions, one from TechCoast and one from Azad. Uh, so let's address them. Uh, so first one was about data security, um, like where Asana AI is learning things from. Is it automatically using our projects to learn how I can make sure that it will not share the information with other Asana users out there? That's a great question. Burak, maybe you could address this one? Yes, actually, uh, we uh, make it uh, clear on our uh, web page as well. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to find the right link. Uh, that's how we are not uh, using your data to train our AI, uh, which is shared then with other Asana users. So uh, so we actually, when it comes to AI, we have, we are working with providers and we are also, have, we also have our own AI engine as well. So uh, I can uh, clearly mention that your uh, data with AI stays within your uh, subscription, stays within your instance. And I uh, can just, uh, find the link that you know confirms that and share with you over the chat in a minute perfect thank you work and uh, there was another question uh, could any external project component for example some schedule tool like primaware be somehow integrated to interact and interchange with asana ai work max yeah. uh, yeah, Burak, I think that it will be better if you will answer. So, please. Sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah. I, I'm not really good at doing multiple things at once. I just uh, pasted a comment about the AI. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, security. So, let, let, uh, let it be me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry for that. So, uh, right now, it's impossible to integrate uh, any other tools with Asana AI directly, but you can uh, integrate needed tools for you with Asana via API or with uh, any existing uh, integrations. So, and you can exchange the information that AI provides for you and you confirm it with, so with other solutions. Perfect, thank you. I hope that answers the question. And uh, yeah, I think, oh, there's another one, or maybe 
I guess that was just uh, not intentionally. Um, but there, if there are any questions, please let us know in the chat. Uh, but uh, other than that, I would like to jump into the, the prize. Uh, as I promised in the beginning of the webinar, we have the gifts for the best question asked for the most active participant. So Max Burak, um, which questions did you find most interesting today? Okay, I found uh, how AI uh, makes a decision for add and fill custom fields and how does it make a decision? I like the question. Uh, I agree. I think uh, um, tech co host um, has been our most active participant today. So thank you. Um, the, these gifts are yours. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. And uh, yeah, we'll reach out to you after the webinar. But uh, thank you all for being active and for asking the questions. If there are um, any other questions, um, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you. And uh, I would like to remind you actually about our special offers. So we have the, the offer for new users where you can get a 20% discount on Asana and complimentary onboarding. And then we have an offer of three hours of free consultations from our experts. And that will be all from our side. Thank you all for joining. Um, I'm also sending a feedback form in the chat. If you would like to um, share your opinion about this session, we would be very grateful. Uh, and uh, as I promised, the webinar recording will be sent to you soon. And if you have any questions regarding Asana or any other cloud solution, feel free to reach out to us at hi at cloudfresh.com. Perfect. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.